All right, so this is the first contact with Azure front door. So what we're going to show here is optimize the delivery of uh, an app service environment, which is one in uh, Azure France region and another one is in Azure Singapore region. So we see the two websites here. Those are uh, equal. They are hosted on app service uh, application environment. And what we're going to do is enable Azure front door to optimize the delivery of that environment uh, wherever the users are in the world, so using our different points of presence in, in the world. So uh, we select front door in the interface, we create the resource, and it's a very uh, simple user experience. Here we're just going to select the resource group to put all of the resources together for this demonstration. And then that's a very uh, simple three steps uh, uh, wizard-like kind of experience. So first we define the front-end host. So what would be the name uh, of this environment? So here we pick rno.azurefd.net. can be anything and it would be very probably C named uh, for a more user-friendly uh, environment. Here we specify what's in the backend pool, so just the name for the uh, backend uh, set of servers. And we're going to add resources that are uh, here in an app service environment, but you also have cloud service storage or custom host, which could be uh, anything and anywhere in the internet. And we specify first the point in uh, app service environment in France. I enable it and it's uh, one uh, priority and 50 weight. I will do the same for the second host. And we will be listening on both um, uh, port 80 and 443 in uh, the backend. So in terms of load balancing, you see that here uh, I will be actually have no latency sensitivity, which means that all the machines belong to the load balancing set. But if one server shouldn't be lower than 10 ms of latency, then it won't be participating into the, the load balancing set, let's say. So here we had a routing rule and we just specify a basic name, which I would say, okay, I will route everything from the front end to the back end on both HTTP and HTTPS. And in the advanced uh, parameter, I will basically serve both requests on HTTP and HTTPS, and I will enable caching and dynamic compression on this environment. I then select add and here we go. You can create the front door service. It's going to take a couple of seconds to uh, finish the setup of it. And here that's the um, control panel that we have for it, the pane that we have for uh, Azure front door. So we can see the metrics and we can see the front door uh, designer where we can modify the configuration and purge the content of the cache. Uh, we also have a couple of metrics that we can use in order to monitor the environment and create the right uh, dashboards that we need to monitor the environment. Out of that, let's see how it looks like. So we're going to do a first request to arno.azurefd.net to warm up the cache. And then we're going to do a little bit measurement. So we're going to use the developer tools here in uh, the Edge browser. Uh, with no cache, and we're going to check at the delivery time for the for the service. So here we go, and we refresh this for the France environment. We see that from Singapore, we measure overall around five seconds to deliver this uh, this web page. We're going to try the same thing on the app service in Singapore, again with no cache, and we see that we are around one second of delivery. And inside the front door uh, environment, we're going to, same thing, disable all the caching and request it again. And we see that we are at around 700 milliseconds. So that's already uh, something around 30% uh, uh, improvement in the delivery of the application. So without doing anything, uh, we already showed some, some results. We can get back on the environment and we see some of the metrics. We see the request count and we see the backend health percentage. So the two hosts are up. So that's good. Now let's do a little test. We're going to shut down the app service environment in Singapore and observe what is the performance uh, that we observe now uh, browsing at the website via app service and via front door. So via app service, no surprise. We have a 503 error service unavailable. And now we're going to do the same test uh, against uh, Azure front door. 
and we see that we are able to still deliver the application so of course the static content is delivered from from the cache and then if we have dynamic uh, content to be served then it would be delivered from the app service environment in uh, france and now you can see that the backend health percentage is like uh, including the downtime of the app service environment in Singapore. So that's a very quick example and a very uh, quick demonstration on how to enable uh, front door and deliver applications fast wherever you are.